For those that are also asking if this will get them banned from the game, uh, this user had this to say. There is not an anti-cheat in this game, they just have anti-tamper built in, which is why the other standard way of doing this doesn't work. A dev said they are working on a patch to tweak the anti-tamper. In other words, no, you will not get banned. What he's talking about is the Denuvo that they have in this game is not an anti-cheat. It's just so that you can't really mess with the game's files in that way. But doing this method, you won't get banned for doing this. So just wanted to answer that question for you guys, because I know we're going to get a lot of it in this video. Bro, chat, they just updated RE framework 10 minutes ago <laughs> from the time of recording this. It is 6.15. Uh, okay, 20 minutes. But still, we got we to gotta get this working. We got to get this up and running. Let's try this out. All right, so what we're going to do is the, full, the file we just downloaded, we're going to right click it. We're going to click copy. And now we're going to go to Monster Hunter. We're going to go to Monster Hunter Wild. So we're going to right click here, go to manage, browse local files. And we're going to paste that uh, file we just copied, the D8, the input 8. We're going to paste that right there. Now we're going to go to the listing for the uh, DLSS G to FSR3 plugin. And we're going to download the universal one. We're going to go manual download and then we're going to slow download it. It shouldn't take you too long at all to download that. Now we're going to go into our DLL version in the folder that we just downloaded we're going to click on this dlss control click version we're going to copy or you could drag it over into here we're going to drag into the monster hunter wilds base folder do a little bit of a refresh and we should be good to go it says that's all you essentially need to do if you found this helpful hit that subscribe button and notification bell to help raise that 38 percent even higher and also so you don't miss out on any other monster hunter videos if they do tweak the performance in any other way i will be making videos on updates on how you guys can get the best bang out of it also if you guys have been watching our previous videos i'm gonna show you how to uh, download and get dlss4 embedded into the game so if, even if like frame gen doesn't work for you you can still take advantage of dlss4 and you have that in your back pocket if you ever want to disable frame generation but we're gonna need to down download this program uh dlss swapper from this github page go ahead and download this installer exe and we're going to download the next folder, which is going to be NVIDIA Profile Inspector Revamped. We're going to download this one, the uh, zip file, and we're going to put that in a spot and we're going to open them up. And I'll show you guys exactly how we go about configuring that now. So we have our DLSS swapper program here. We're going to double click this. And when it boots up here, we're going to go to library. So after you go ahead and you download DLSS 3.10.2.1 and then DLSS frame generation 3.10.2, as well as FSR 3.1. That's the this one right here, 3.13, and the Vulcan version. What we're going to do now is we're going to refresh on the top right and click Export All. It's going to ask if we want to save all of these files in a specific folder, and we're going to do that. Inside of here, this is where it saved all of those files. So we're going to take the DLSS 3.10, and we're going to put it inside of this folder. And then we're going to go inside, and we're going to take the frame generation version, and we're going to put it inside there. We're going to go ahead and take the AMD FSR one and the other Vulcan one. Refresh and they'll put the files in the correct order of where they need to go. But you're not done there. Now you need to go into NVIDIA Profile Inspector. We're going to go inside in Profile Inspector and we're going to see this option right here, profileinspector.exe. We're going to double click that and we're going to scroll down to Monster Hunter Wilds, which should have a directory listing. There we go, Monster Hunter Wilds. And it tells you right here which exe it's associated with if you don't have an exe here what you're going to want to do is remove this application from the current profile and it'll remove that and what you're going to do is you're going to add an application to the current profile and you're going to go and try to find your monster hunter wilds which is this is the make sure you click on monster hunter wilds not world not benchmark or beta test you can double click monster hunter wilds click this exe open and it's going to apply there and hit apply changes now we're going to go ahead and change this stuff here we're going to change this F, uh, fg latest dll and we're going to change the preset for you guys presets are probably going to be at g or f or whatever we're going to change this to preset k that's going to let us use dlss4 apply those changes and close and now we are good to go we could boot up the game and now you got dlss4 in the game and frame generation from the mod that we installed earlier with re framework so now let's boot up monster hunter wilds oh look at that it booted up actually oh wow it actually booted up i'm kind of shocked right now chat this is without having to use special k by the way that actually was way easier than i thought it would be i thought we were gonna have to configure a whole bunch of shit yo re framework is a game changer what this is actually working if you guys see i, I have a 3090 i have an rtx 3090 card i just installed the new re framework which was updated a couple minutes ago as of right now recording this video 
And we have NVIDIA DLSS active with frame generation. Genuinely shocked right now. What? And we're using DLSS 4.0. Man, uh, chat, you have no idea. I recorded a whole video on how to get the special K method of this to work. And I feel like I wasted so much time because that was like almost an hour and 45 minutes to get configured. And yeah, this is not, this one's not even using that. It's working so much better. Super easy to install. Wait, is the HUD doing the jittery? It still is, yeah. The HUD is jittering, but it's not as bad. So, yeah. Unless you, <laughs> you might have to get used to that. But I mean, for me, the frames all around the game look way better dramatically. There's no ghosting with DLSS uh, for chat. Well, damn, I'm shocked. Yeah, I have a 3090 chat. I have RTX 3090. Now in DLSS Swapper, you technically, all you need to really do is click on the game you want and change the DLSS here. However, every time that I do that, it actually creates a totally new different DLSS file and it doesn't read properly within the game and it still leaves the 3.7 within it. So I personally think manually inputting it into the game works a little bit better in that sense. You'll see your DLSS stuff. So you see, right, it created another file here for me dlss file instead of it being this one and this one it has like this one and this one okay you see the frame counter on the top right saying i'm getting 30 frames here now we'll go into the options turn this on now it went from 30 to 70 78 And you can you know it's on and it's working because my HUD right there, see Zombie Rage's name, it's all jittery. Is the frame cap settings even working in this game? I just I just put frame cap at 60 and the the, the reading is going up to like 70 and shit. So now when you go into your game, you should look to the right of DLSS and it says 310.2.1 instead of 3.7, which is what the game launched with. And you also have uh, the new AMD FSR 3.13 as well. With this new title, frame generation should not have to be the answer, nor is it ever a thing that people should really force their system to play. It's just fun to mess around with. So I really do hope Capcom goes and does right by the community and actively optimizes and fixes this game. They did announce a couple things, which they're working on, which is exciting. The latency indicator, I, yo, bro, this is, I definitely, this is, does not feel like 101 uh milliseconds of delay bro like i'm just being honest with you this feels just like how it does without uh the frame gen on as a matter of fact even with it off it's saying 95 milliseconds 100 milliseconds that's impossible bro that, that there's no way that that shit feels that way that has to be like the latency at which my gpu is communicating with the game or something like that that's definitely not reading input I don't think so at all, at least. The FPS is better than the benchmark, but it's still not at like a great place. The beta, it's light years better than the beta. Shout outs to RE Framework. Do a fantastic job, dude. They, they knocked it out of the park in record time. Oh, how do you make the game not muddy or blurry? Also, I'll throw this into the video as well. So this is how I also did my brightness in Resident Evil 4. So the way that the, the RE engine's brightness system works, the best thing to do is have this first one as low as possible. You could probably even have it at zero. Uh, I have it at one for me. And then the second one, uh, 10 or 9 should be good. But again, adjust to how you like it. This will help out with your colors. Maybe closer to 9. Well, I'll go back up to 10. And on this final one, this one affects it a lot. I would keep it at 10. Save those changes. And that's how I get my game to look like this. And not as washed out as some other people's might end up looking and that also depends on your monitor display it'll be different for everybody but try to stay within those parameters and you should get a decent picture quality out of that and that is how we can get frame generation in the game and it's running pretty good man again re framework i wasn't expecting that i was when i was doing that tutorial i was doing it for the first time live with you guys so when he said and that's it just boot up the game i was like nah in ain't no way it worked it works and it's pretty fantastic so i'm gonna be playing the rest of the game like this i'm gonna actually edit this video now so you guys can check it out so be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new more monster hunter videos are on the way and you don't want to miss them my name is blitz and thanks for watching